Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. I am Monica. I hope everyone is staying safe, uh, taking all the necessary precautions. I am coming today with a comparison video. I'm going to compare my Speedy 30 to my a Speedy Bandolier. It's a Speedy 25 uh, Bandolier. It's not a true unboxing, but I did just put it back in the box so that I can show you how it looks when it comes um, when it's new. So uh, I'll go ahead and um, set this aside and I'm going to open up this Speedy 25. So I actually purchased my Speedy 25 from from the Louis Vuitton store. I think I remember telling you all that on my uh, first ever video and um, it comes like this. It comes in the dust bag and they generally come flat. It's not going to be as flat because I wear this every, I mean, I literally wear this purse every day. So it comes kind of, it comes folded like this. So a lot of times, like when you're wearing the Speedy, even though this one is used, you can still kind of see the creases in the bag. Um, so it comes like this, so you have to kind of open it up and it looks like this. Um, the actual, the Speedy 25 is a little bit smaller than the Speedy 30. Um, I don't have like the exact measurements, but I can just hold them up side by side so that you can take a look at the size difference. This is the Speedy 25 Bent Delir in Damier Aban. This is the Speedy 30, the classic Speedy in the monogram print. So I'll just hold these here so you can kind of see the, the difference in the sizing. See, it's just a little bit bigger on the side. And so, um, typically, people, when they purchase these bags, it's just a, a matter of preference on how big or how small of the bag you want to carry. So, this one comes with two zippers on the Speedy 25 on the Bandolier. It comes with two zippers. Um, inside of this bag, it's this beautiful, beautiful red color. And it also has the strap and this is called the bandolier. So that's why it's called the speedy bandolier. Um, it also, the straps are also adjustable. So if you need to adjust it to your height when you wear the bag, you can do that. And then on the side, it's got this line that goes down the side where you can attach to the D ring. you can attach your straps and they attach very easily. So do them like this. And inside of this bag, it also has a lock and the lock came with it. There was a lock that came with this one as well, but this lock comes with this lock and the two keys. I don't really wear the lock in, or the keys on my bags. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't wear the locks on my bags. I just really don't see the purpose. I'm not, you know, going to take it to the airport or you know, I mean, anything like that. It's just, I just really don't see the purpose of doing that. Um, the the nut the number for this bag is N four one three six eight. Just in case someone wants to look that up. And the purchase price. I actually purchased this bag, like I said, from the store. It was brand new, and I paid for. Well, the total of the bag was one thousand. $610. It was $143.29 for tax. So it came up to $1,753.29. Um, I'm sure there has been an increase um, in the Louis Vuitton bag. So I'm sure it probably costs more. And I'm so sorry I did not bring that information today. Um, for this bag, I also purchased a bag. Sorry about that. A bag organizer. I got this off of Amazon. I'm not, I think it was like maybe 20 bucks. And so I keep this inside of my bag. Uh, this little middle compartment right here is actually detachable. And it's about the size of like the toiletry 19. So, but I like to keep that out because it gives me more space to work with in the middle um, when I'm using the bag. Okay. So next, I already did a review on this bag. Again, this is the Speedy 30. It only comes with one zipper on it. And then also in the inside of this, oops, this uh, on the inside of this bag, it's just like a brown color. So that's another difference in the two bags. 
So what I'm going to do now is, excuse me, put the items in the bags just so that you can see that they hold just about, uh, of course this one will hold more, um, but this bag, I literally wear it every single day. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the organizer on the inside. So with the organizer, I kind of have to bend it like on the side. It's kind of hard to go in there. Stuff it in there. Stuff it in there and then just turn it to the side. So once it's inside of the bag, it fits in there very nicely. And I just like to go around and just make sure that it's kind of buffed out and it's not sitting in the bag kind of mixed, kind of pushed in. So now that the organizer is in there, it looks like this. It matches the color of the bag on the inside of the bag perfectly. All right, so the items that I tend to keep in, in my bag are number one, of course, um, it's 2000 and it's 2021. You can't go anywhere without hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna stick that inside. Since this uh, hand sanitizer, sometimes it can leak out. Um, there's like this little pocket on the inside of the bag, uh, the organizer. I like to keep that inside of there. I also have my Coach wristlet. Um, I love, love, love this bag. Sometimes if I don't wanna like take my whole bag in the store, I would pull this out. This wristlet, it's got two um, pockets on it. Um, and it's got this little little uh, wristlet thing here, so it's so convenient. I love I love this thing. And inside of it, I've got just my um, some perfume. This is some Juicy Couture perfume. I've got some hand cream, and I have some lip gloss. And these two are from Mary Kay. Thank you so much to one of my coworkers. She gave she gifted me that. And then on this side, I just have like cards, and um, you know like cards and receipts and things like that on this side. Also in this bag, I do keep my lipsticks as well that I wear. Today I am wearing Milani. The number is number 22 or more. And this is by Milani. I love, love, love Milani. It's a matte. I also keep that in there. And then I dropped my other one. I kind of mixed up, mixed two lipsticks. Okay, here it goes. I mixed two lipsticks together. And this one is NYX Liquid Suede in the, com the color number 11. So on my lips, I have these two lipsticks right now. All right, so we'll put this in here. I kind of angle the things to the side when I put them in. I also have my Louis Vuitton Clements, Clements wallet. Um, this wallet is kind of long, so when I put it in, I have to kind of turn it to the side to get it in there. So we have that. I also have my Louis Vuitton um, key pouch. I have my key in here. Just drop that in. I also like to keep this little um, thingy here. It's just like a little manicure set because you never know. You might get a snack, hangnail, whatever. Uh, this always comes in handy. Keep that. And then I also have my handy dandy AirPods who likes to talk on the phone with, um, and of course it's against the law to have your, uh, to talk on the phone or hold the phone while you're driving. So that's everything inside of the Speedy 25 Bandolier. And so once I have everything in here, oh, y'all, I forgot one thing. I also care, I have a little one. So I like to carry a pull up in here just in case he has to go to the restroom or something like that and I zip everything up. Everything fits nicely, it's not bulging. You can actually still see like the, um, the indentations, the indentations here from where the bag came folded. And when I store this bag, I do not store it folded. I just store it with the bag organizer inside of it. So it's, like I said, I just got this bag in March and it's still, the, the, um, dips, the line still have the creases haven't fallen out of it yet. So when I carry this bag, I typically carry it like this on my arm when I'm walking around, when I'm in a store. If I have you know, my family with me and I need to go hands-free, I love this bag for that. I'll either just wear it on the side like this or I would wear it cross body. And when I wear it cross body, I just like to kind of keep it right here, which is the perfect height for me so that in case I just have to go in, in the bag, it's just right here dig around, I get everything that I need out of it. A lot of times I don't even close it back. I just stick everything in here and I go. Okay, 
So as far as the Speedy 30, so I really, uh, I really carry this bag just because of the Vachetta, Vachetta. Um, I actually wore it, took it to me, with me to the nail salon one time and I got a nice little um, stain from some hand sanitizer on it. So that kind of made me not want to wear it even more. So I'll just take everything out of the Speedy 25 and place it inside of the Speedy 30. So the little pull up that I always keep, I always have at least one pull up with me. Um, my AirPods, let me sit down. My handy dandy coach carry all. Drop that in there. My Clements wallet, again, I keep like my debit card and um, my cards, insurance cards and things like that in here. And you see, I'm just kind of throwing things in here. This this bag is so much bigger. Uh, well, not so much bigger, but it's a little bit more, it, it has a little bit more give. Like, and the mouth of the bag is a little bit easier to manipulate. Uh, my manicure kit, my keys, and my sanitizer. So as you can see, I did not buy a bag organizer with this bag because I actually like the, like the slouch in it. Because it is a bigger bag, I just like the slouch. I just, I didn't, you know, care to put an organizer in here. I probably should. But if you look inside of this bag, it's like way more room in it than the other bag. And everything is just kind of, it's kind of like what they call a black hole. All right, so I can close this up nice and easy. And when I do carry this bag, again, I carry it like this or I carry it on my arm. That's really the only two ways to wear this bag because it does not have a strap or the bandolier. So again, this one does have like a little droopy sag on the bottom. So if you do not like that look, again, you can order a bag organizer. Um, some people actually place like a piece of cardboard at the bottom if you don't want to invest in the organizer. And again, these are the two sizes. This is the Speedy 30 in monogram. This is the uh, Damier Abin Speedy 25. So this one is uh, just a little bit bigger than this one. Um, some people say they feel like this one is too um, big for their frame. And I'm 5'7 and a half, I'm 160 pounds. So I don't feel like this bag is too big for me at all. Like I said, I feel like I'm, you know, pretty tall. I don't think it looks weird or looks bad on my frame. And um, so I had this bag first. So when I got it, I was like, wow, it kind of feels a little big. But now that I have the 30, um, this one to me feels a little bit small. So if you're a person, in, if you like, I mean, both bags can hold a lot of items. But if you just like to have a big bag, you probably want to go for the, um, the size 30. They also have both of the bags, um, like they have a Speedy 30 bandolier. And they also have a just a classic Speedy 25, and they have um, different prints as well. If you want to know the, um, what those are, you can go to the Louis Vuitton website. But um, again, I did purchase this one brand new. I purchased this one pre-loved, and I love them both. Um, I can't say equally because if I did have to choose, I would choose this one just because it's it has the strap and with my lifestyle sometimes i do have to go hands-free so it, i feel much more comfortable with being able to take my bag and put it on me as a crossbody or putting it on my shoulder uh than having to you know like take it and sit it inside of a buggy or or you know like having to carry it around all day long um that can become very um tiresome uh for your arms but again if i did have to choose one I would choose this bag, the one with the bandolier, just because, like I said, I, I like, it fits my lifestyle a little bit better. Um, I find myself typically wearing this bag if, I, if I'm like going to travel um, and I need to carry a lot more items or I like to put things in this one um, that I won't need in here. Like you can put like an extra set of clothes in here, um, diapers, wipes. Um, things that you just wouldn't want to carry around in the store in an in um, excessive amount. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video was not too long. Again, this is the Speedy 30. This is the Speedy 25. Both are beautiful, beautiful bags. 
Um, they both come in the same colors. They also come in different colors. And as far as which size, like if you're choosing a size, basically it's a personal pre it's a personal preference. Um, this this was my actually first um, Louis Vuitton piece, so I did start my Louis Vuitton collection with a uh, Speedy Bandelier 25. Um, when you go to Louis Vuitton store, when you try the bags on, whichever makes you feel the happiest, whichever makes you feel the most comfortable, I think those that's the one that you should go with. Um, and again, just always search the pre-love sites. The pre-love sites have beautiful bags uh, that are a lot of times at a fraction of the cost. But lately I've been noticing that on some of the pre-love sites that the pre-love bags may be just as much, if not more than the bags if you were to buy them new. So I always, you know, encourage you to do your research. If you have any questions, you can leave those down at the bottom. I'll be more than happy to answer those. Um, if there's anything else you would like to see about the bag, you would like to know about the bag, again, just ask me and let me know. And I think that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming back. Please uh, think about subscribing to the channel. I will be coming out with more content. And like I said before, everything is not going to be Louis Vuitton. But I did just want to kind of get this video out to let you know because I did promise you guys this video um, from my last video. So again, I am Monica. Thank you so much for tuning in. You all stay safe and take care till next time.